As a burnout expert, I think it's important for us to have the same definition of burnout. Burnout is an occupational phenomenon. It's workplace stress left unmanaged. And it shows up in these three major signs. One is exhaustion and depletion. And I think a lot of us are feeling pretty tired right now over the last couple of years, but it's really showing up when we're feeling extremely burned out. And it also shows up in this emotional distance from our job. So we're feeling maybe disengaged. And then finally, it's that level of cynicism or hopelessness. Like these things are just not able to change for us. And that is a really big sign of burnout. We're seeing that across the workforce right now. So that leads me to my first tip. We want to self assess. Are we burning out? Every week we should be looking back and thinking how frequently we're feeling any of those three major signs. If it's more than two or three times a week and that's happening over time, we might be at risk of burnout. So that's when we either talk to our boss or maybe we look into our EAPs and find out what's available to us. And primarily we need to feel okay that we are burning out and it shouldn't be stigmatized that we, if we need help, can get it. My second tip is we are in a state of toxic productivity. We feel like we always have to be working. You know, we used to commute into work and a lot of us are now working remote. What's happening is we're just filling up that time with more work. We're working 30% more, we're working about three hours more per day. Did you know that in the last year that showers are down by 30%? That's how exhausted this workforce is. One of the things that I say is try to take that time that you would be able to give yourself back and don't feel guilty about taking it. We need to change the language around rest and rest is productive. It isn't a break from work, it's adding to your productivity so you can be better at your job. Now we're going into the third tip, which is practicing JOMO versus FOMO. And that's the joy of missing out versus the fear of missing out. When you're thinking about Friday night and committing to something after work, think about what you need to recover from all of that extra work. You need to really just spend some time relaxing and being, you know, calm, finding a way to be around people that give you an effortless state of belonging, which are those people that you feel like they're almost like wearing a comfy pair of sweatpants. You know, they're just so easy to be around. We need to spend more time doing that, reading books, doing nothing, having a bat, that frivolous 15. We need to focus more on regenerating and understand that that's all part of the process of being able to get back to work and be productive and reducing our risk of burning out.